Yeah, it's doing whatever. Welcome to Zetus. Control a mighty cosmic beast on its rampage against mankind in its arcade shoot up. Alright, controls. A, D, A, D, rotate left, rotate right, W is accelerate, and J is to f open fire. J, okay. Out enter is to full screen. Alternatively, gamepad, rotate, rotate right, arc seam, okay. Cool. Let's give it a shot then. So this goes by Asteroids uh, logic when it comes to controls, which was uh, not exactly my favorite form of controls. <laughs> uh, so that was by Zetus. Oh, uh, it's a game maker game. Well, let's see what happens. Is it an installer or is it just an executable? Oh, okay. Uh, and then out enter was to full screen. Uh, English, Portuguese, English credits. Arlem Carnivo Saliva Jr. <laughs> Arthur Francesco de Lima, uh, music audio art. Casio Eduardo Ferrari da Cuna programming. These are the longest names I've seen in a while. I I learned something new about Portuguese, uh, Portugal, or whatever. I maybe Brazil. I don't know. Maybe I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. Gustavo Hilario de Lira Cristino. I mean, actually, actually, if memory serves correct, like Pablo Picasso's full name was twenty words long too. So it's probably just a Spanish thing. Um, Gustavo Hilario de Lira Cristino, game design, Marcus, Marco, you want Marco Junio Perari de Jesus, art, Matias Rodolfo Paris Varias, game design. Big team, big and team. So begins my hunt. Uh, okay. And then J, it was. Oh, okay. You want one. Oh, you got one. Oh, red sting. I want to see what happens. Okay, nothing happened. My life is depleting super rapidly. I shift. It is not over. Oh, okay. So, by literally, um... There's no... There's no, uh... Gap between... Duration gap between, uh, the firing, it looks like. So you can... If you're really fast, you can... It seems like you can just... More of them! I assemble their flesh to my shit nothingness. <laughs> what? Huh? So begins my hunt. This looks a lot like programmer's art to me. No offense. Nothingness. <laughs> we made the art for the game, but the artist couldn't finish time, so we decided to go to my and program so art. Begins my hunt. I do like the parallax going on here. That's that looks gorgeous, to be honest. Nothingness. Oh, okay. Apparently, and I'm not supposed so to walk into planets. My hunt. More of 
them. Try Sublivion. Okay. Time to take the things in another direction. Okay, that looks like a shield. Okay. Okay. A home for a home. Oh, no, I got hit. More graphics for getting hit would be really useful. A lot of shapes, Jesus. A whole business is hard. Nothingness. <laughs> and so begins my heart. I'm gonna try this one more time and then see if I can fit in one more game. Uh, it's yeah, we have like ten minutes left before our stream ends, so it seems like the number of uh, power-ups is infinite anyway, so... Okay, I'm now a bigger target, that's good to know. No! Oh, but I have more health. Second chance. The fact that those characters persist, so in other words, those bullets might... Those bullets do, in fact, have a range where they... I'm not sure I like the brief uh, moment where you just kind of freeze after being hit because it feels like... Come at me. It feels like a form of knockback where um, you start having no control over your situation. So, okay, maybe those purple things counts as lies. Oh, there's a satellite. a little bit that I didn't like. So, yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, innovation, uh, 
There was none. It's pretty much asteroid controls after all. Um, actually, you know, I had a decent amount of fun with this. Um, the reason why it's three stars instead of four stars is because I feel like what it kind of lacks is it lacks a little bit of juice. Um, and to explain what I mean by juice is juice is any sort of feedback that makes you feel like a little more powerful. It's any sort of feedback that makes you indicate that, yes, you've done something. These include explosions when the enemy dies and include stuff like maybe when you get hit, your car your ship flashes or simple stuff like that. But we also include some really subtle things, including uh, screen shakes, uh, any sort of hit pauses we call, where the game pauses for a brief second each time you hit something. And any sort of those like really, or you know, entire screen flashes are also really effective too. So any sort of like those really subtle details I often tend to look for and I didn't find any in here. That's okay, it sounds like uh, you guys just wanted to make a specific shooter game and it seemed like it was one of the first times, if, uh, if not the first time, you tried making this game and participated in the Ludum Dare. And uh, I'm, to be completely honest, I'm impressed with what you guys got, got done so far. Um, it's just a question of, uh, are you willing to practice more as you go along about this? Uh, Shape-shifting theme. This is two stars to me. I mean, as up, you know, shape-shifting as a form of upgrades is to me kind of like very what I would have thought of. Um, it's not a particularly interesting interpretation of the theme. Which is what I want to say. Graphics. Uh, I want to be nice here, but unfortunately, I don't have a good anything good to talk about. <laughs> like I understand here that the artist has in fact drawn all sorts of these really creepy interpretation of different um, ships and so forth, and I think that in and of itself is really cool. But sadly, I'm judging by what I saw. Uh, audio could. Uh, I'm, this, there wasn't there wasn't much there. I think so. One thing I like to do with audio is every time you, you know you hit or you shoot or something, I like to change the pitch of it a little bit every time. So I have it a completely random pitch. I highly recommend doing the same thing too. You always want to have at least a multitude of different kind of uh, sound effects on it. Humor. Um, Uh, I didn't especially find it funny. Because there were dialogue too, I felt like there was something to make me think like it was supposed to be funny, but there was nothing in there really to make me think like, oh, this is uh, really funny or something. So yeah, there wasn't much in there. And mood, um, without, the, without any distinct graphics or audio, I'm going to leave that as not available because there doesn't s seem to be anything that I feel like that has struck to me as part intended to be the mood. Now, obviously with the planets and the graphics that the artist put together, like it seems like that was eventually going to be the intent, but as of right now, there doesn't seem to be anything and I'm gonna leave that as unrated. Um, overall, it's a little rough to me, uh, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of potential between your team. Um, you're obviously very passionate about getting this uh, done within the 72 hour time frame with Zend. Uh, in regards to like uh, a lot of things, I mentioned earlier that uh, the controls were asteroid kind of stuff, but you know, it struck to me as fairly intuitive. And that's not something that I can say about asteroids itself. Asteroid to me always felt a little bit uh, clunky in comparison, but this one I was very comfortable with and I, it felt really good. So, I mean, that's a huge plus in my book and um, You know, you have these enemy AIs, which I thought was really fair um, and You know, I I enjoyed playing the game in many ways. Uh, there's certain level of polish, like obviously there's a lot of other asteroids like game out there that I do think does the better job at it. And I'm going, but and you know my rating is just based off of that kind of system. I'm comparing with a lot of other games, but um, the basics uh, is actually surprise really solid. Um, there's a certain level of game feel that it seems to me your team seems to understand intuitively. And 
at, that, at least coming from controls, the tightness of it, making sure that the AI feels spare, that kind of stuff. So honestly, it's just a matter of practice at this point. And I feel, and you know, I expect a lot of great things to come out of you guys. So, yeah. Actually had quite a lot of fun for something that appears... very rough the controls feel tight and the upgrade system the control feels tight AI feels fair if a bit f far between Obviously, a whole lot more art and sound would go a long way in making this a more enjoyable game. But there's a charm to it I like. Which is a surprisingly positive <laughs> which is a surprisingly positive uh, feedback for a rating that admittedly is fairly low. But yeah, no, it, it, I actually did enjoy it for what it was.